Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to calibrate your speakers to a specific SPL level. This can be useful for things like setting up an ammo system. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to the Blue Sky website and find this calibration test files page. You see that there's a link to download a zip folder which contains a couple of audio files. In this case, you'll want to use the 500 to 2500 pink noise file. You can generate this yourself using a noise generator, but I like to just keep this file on hand. You'll want to load this file into your DAW and make sure you have everything zeroed so that there's no level changes. Make sure to only play it out of one speaker at a time. Next, you'll want to set up your SPL meter. You can either use a standalone meter, or there are several iPhone apps which work quite well. You'll want to have it in the slow mode and with C weighting. Once your meter is ready to go and at your listening position, you can play the noise file and adjust your monitoring level until it hits the desired SPL level. Typically, you'll want between 78 and 85 dB SPL, but it depends on the size of the room. This process can then be repeated for all the speakers in the room. Next, we'll take a look at using REW as an SPL meter, which can help further dial things in. For this, you'll need a measurement mic connected to your system, as well as the SPL meter. If you're not familiar with using REW, please check out my other video about it. We'll start off by clicking the SPL meter up at the top. At this point, the meter isn't calibrated, so you'll want to click the Calibrate button. Then you'll want to use the external signal and click OK, and then repeat the same steps as before, playing back the noise and looking at the value on your SPL meter. While the noise is still playing, you want to enter in the value here and then click Finished. At this point, the readings shown by the SPL meter will be correct. Any measurements now done in REW will have the correct SPL values. Once you've taken some measurements, you'll now have an accurate reading of the SPL levels. Fine tuning can now be done to match the level of speakers in a given frequency range. I hope this video helps. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions.